my name is Felicit Marine, and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 10, Episode 9. I got mail. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Ooh, hello! Ooh, very efficient mail system. I'm hooked. I love it! It's my first, like, proper mail other than, like, this is set up now. Oh, thank you, Gem. Lure to I'm breaking through and curse of vanishing. Very interesting run you decided to send me. Thank you, Jim. You are amazing. Uh, I need to reply to this though. Why don't I send to Jim Jim? I have school blossom to me. I can send Jim some school blossoms. Awesome cheery leaves as well. What is such a lovely box? I can make it a very green and large box. Ooh, solar punk fire box. What about some daylight sensors? Give her a new energy power source. They're so expensive though. I can't actually make any daylight sensors. I've run out of quartz. Oh, never mind. I have it. I lied. Um, and a bit of paper. What do I even title this thing? Very efficient mail system, I'm hooked. I need to pun her out. I can't fit my letter in there. P, I'm just P. Can't leave you hanging. Business is blooming. P, I think this works, right? I'm just P. I'm just P. <laughs> so, some little cherry leaves, some flowers, some spore blossoms. There's a valuable stuff, these spore blossoms. Some flowering azalea, some cute little mossy blocks, and we'll do some bigger ones. Look how pretty that is. You can't tell me it's not pretty. Let's kind of put that up there so it looks a bit nicer. Oh, now that just ain't that lovely. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I want to give Jim... Yeah, let's give give Jim, give Jim an extra stamp. There we go. Look at that box. Isn't it lovely? See, the good thing about being the postmaster is I have unlimited stamps. So it really doesn't cost me anything. Boop. And then, make sure that's all good. Yeah, cool. Nice. I like it. Just real quick before I get properly into this video, I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit harsh or dry. I just finished streaming, but hey, I'm ready to record a video, so we're just gonna go for it. Last episode, I announced the theme direction I'll be taking for the bigger base that I'll be working on throughout the season. And well, the theme, of course, was announced as Solarpunk. There were so many excited comments from you all on the last video, and it has made me hyped for this thing even more. But on a big important note, you all also had some fantastically informative comments on what Solarpunk actually is, and it's much more than what I said. But if you don't know what Solarpunk is, I very much highly recommend reading through those comments to give yourselves a solid idea on what it is, as you know, I'll probably be missing some details in explaining it myself, I'm sure. But overall, oh, oh, oh. Jim. Don't just creepily stare at me from a distance. Don't do that. You're staring at me. Well, you whacked me in the face. Why would I not stare at you? Were you doing? You looked like you were doing an intro or something. You're like looking with your build in the background, like hello, I am pearlescent moon. Oh, Good day, mate. Oh, oh, you pearlescent moon. Eh? Is that how we're saying the Australian language yeah. now? Okay, I yeah. see. All right. Yeah. I mean, you weren't wrong. I was doing a bit of a monologue. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I got to interrupt. <laughs> thanks, Jim. Hi. Hello. Can I help you? <laughs> no, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the punch. You whacked me into my senses. <laughs> but overall, I just want to thank everyone for being so absolutely wonderful about it. The comments were a joy to read. I think what I will do on this is I'll jump into pieces exploring Solarpunk as I build, rather than me lumping a lot of information all at once. But I definitely have some bits to add to the base later today, so we'll pop into it more there. For now, I've actually got some post office pieces to attend to. First things first, an update on progress. Ether has been doing some major work installing mailboxes, and we now have a decent amount of hermits linked to the system. All hermits can Currently linked up on this board all have their starter stamps with the exception to Joel Beans and Beef. The main problem with that is we just need to figure out syncing up our times so that I can actually give them to them. So um, that'll come up soon, I'm sure. Hermits with TBD beside their names mean that they wanted a post box but weren't going to be ready for it for a decent chunk. And the whip beside the names refers to the fact that we have a location and their box shall be installed fairly soon. Everyone else that doesn't have any of those beside their names we're still working with to grab some locations from, which I'm sure we'll get in due time. We also have a new government offices location, which is within a building that Zuma created is actually neighbors to a brand new shiny permit office, which I've heard so many wonderful things about. So we've added that to the board seeing as it's online. And you might also notice that the shopping district has been added, but it's not lit up yet because we have plans to make one in the shopping district. We'll really love one there as an outbound system only, but it's currently still in discussion. So it's just up on the board for now until we get around to looking into it. So I would say overall, things are going pretty great. However, another fun fact is that Ether has told me that he's made a spot for lost pine 
castles to go in, which right now is actually currently a hole in the nether, so it pretty much just gets despawned or destroyed, whichever the way he's put it. But that definitely can't stay that way, so it's going to be one of my jobs today to make the post office a lost parcels department. Now, between episodes two, I've also done a little bit of terraforming outside to get us started on this building, and straight away you can see it. Yeah, this is a huge difference. Do you guys remember there used to be a giant mound of, of grass and dirt there with a bunch of sunflowers on top. Now the sunflowers were pretty, but yeah, they were constantly blocking the view of the post office and I wanted to get rid of it ages ago and just never got around to it. But uh, I've done that. I've been digging it out. It's now you can see the post office so much more clearly now. It has a much better perspective from all angles. And I've also continued the river right over here. It goes underneath this little bridge here and comes out the other side. And might I say, this little bridge, you know, it's nothing impressive. There's no fancy details with it or anything. It's just a bridge for transportation. But uh, I think it's rather cute. I didn't want to add a roof to it because that would end up blocking the post office. It's just something super basic, but I really like my little tracks that I've made as little textures with the jungle wood. It kind of acts as if the van has been driving over it a few times and has probably worn down a few layers of the wood in that particular spot. So it just really kind of helps to bring the mud dirt path down into the actual post office area a little bit more there. It's an odd transition, but it kind of oddly works. Now with this bit here, this is actually where I want to put the Lost Parcels office. I was thinking of having a bunch of stairs going down here and then into a small building at the bottom. I was looking around the place and I kind of originally wanted to make some kind of a warehouse vibe to the Lost Parcels area, but none of the spots kind of really gripped me enough. Off to this side here would have ended up blocking the perspective of the post office. Down below over there would have blocked it from the other direction. And in this spot, I actually want to include some kind kind of orchard for my base itself. And you may notice as well that I've shifted the path a little bit over to follow the curves of the terrain so it gives me a bit more room to work with in my base zone and it's a bit more organic and nice so that's another change that I've also made. But yeah now that I've got you all caught up on what I've been doing it's been quite fun just kind of fiddling with all these little details if I'll be honest. Let's get started on the lost parcels department. First things first I'm just giving myself a nice cobblestone placeholder structure so we can mark out where we want our building to go and of course if we stay on this wire height level that building is going to be very shallow so what I've done is I've just dug a little bit further down into the stone and that gives us a nice better ceiling to work with when it comes to making the interior of the building. Although right now it does look a bit squishy next to the water so what we're gonna do is we're gonna nudge over to the right a little bit into the water, adjust that a bit and give us a bit more of a walking zone down the bottom, a bit more breathing room. And I'm not gonna lie as much as the terraforming around here currently works I think it also needs a slight adjustment so I'll probably move that around a little bit too. Give it a bit of a nicer decoration feel to it hey? Where is your uh, lost package thing? Ah! Come out the front, come out the front. I'm currently building it right now, actually. I know it looks fantastic right now. <laughs> oh, yes, but very cobbly, it, very, very 2011. Uh, I like it. Yes, yes, that's going to be the final aesthetic, you know, me too well. <laughs> 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 it's so wonderful. Okay, cool. No, there'll be an entrance uh, coming down here. You'll be able to walk into like the offices at the bottom. This will be pushed outward, so there's a bit more space to walk. But it's going to be like oh, a, okay. a, a dip entrance. You know, kind of like a... Um, you guys ever seen those side alleyway like bars or restaurants that are kind of hidden down the bottom of it? That's pretty much right, what it's going like to be. You got the little stairs that go down in places. That exactly, the, exactly. The unknown basements of uh, uh -huh. non-shady things happening. Yep, yeah, yep. so you get it, right? It's a Lost Parcels. So we really want to, you know, shout it at the rooftops that we have a Lost Parcels department? No, no. Exactly. This is, this is the shame of the post office, really. <laughs> That's why it's built at a couple. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> ah, look, future transition Bolo here to save the day. Okay, bringing it back in. There we are, just a few extra little details here and there. Of course, as you can see, it's being pushed back into the water area to give us much more walking space now. Feels a bit more roomy. And you'll also notice that I've brought some dirt and grass over the top of where the building originally has been marked out. Now, this is simply because I actually want kind of the, some of the land to come back and keep that greenery and then just kind of nestle it down into the corner a little bit. So it's not just this building that's sticking out like a sore thumb. Now, 
now the next things we gotta do is we gotta use the actual block palette. For this one I am thinking of bringing more of that orange out a little bit. It also brings it a bit closer to the dirt nature of us trying to hide it away a tad. And then in terms of the shape, honestly I just want to go with a nice basic kind of triangle box shape. I know that sounds super simple but I think that's all this area needs. And one thing more to note is I've also dug out of course the inside of this building a little bit more so you can see what kind of space we're working with by tucking it underneath. And something else that's also super fun is if we dig through here just a little bit hold on just bear with me hold on and there we go it comes out into the basement of the post office where we kind of hide away our little redstone bits and bobs. So I thought that could also be a really nice access point instead of just coming through, you know, the post office with the scaffolding block the entire time. So that could be really cool as an extra little addition for our interior here. Now, bringing some of that orange down, I think one of the easiest blocks to do that with is actually going to be some stripped acacia blocks because check out this. Look at that beautiful texture right there. We can then combine that with maybe a little bit of terracotta and then create some really nice kind of orangey highlights with some red sandstone and also maybe a little bit of copper bring in some of those graded windows yet again and then for the roof i was thinking more of a jungle kind of thing so it keeps up with the orange kind of hue but is separate enough from the walls that well it looks like a roof and doesn't join up with it so bring in another transition pearl as i get this bit built pearl? what's up where's you, where's your mail my your mailbox come out this way Ah, oh, who's wanting to max to find my thing? All right. There we go. I got you a present. Ooh, a gift? What is it? Oh, no. What? Now you've got a post box. Oh, I can actually love that. I know that reference. How good is that? <laughs> That's How good box. is that? Yeah. I love it. I can't stick letters it's so in it. It's so simple. But I can imagine it. Oh, that's good. That's good. You're putting one of these in every post box, aren't you? Right? You know you have to do that now. You're the post lady, not me. Oh, no. This ain't my duty. It's up to be. I think that. I think they're great. I've only, I haven't oh. got that much. I've only, I haven't got enough for it. But you, I've replicated the banner. I need more wool. Okay. All right. I can do that. Do you can... like it? It's 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 like really iconic. I love it. No, I recognize it completely. I had a, like a little coin box of this back when I was a kid. And <laughs> now I can put it on the server. Now everyone needs one. Now everyone oh, does. So where one. have you gone? Uh, you have you have real issues with this horse, man. You gotta. Pluto just hates me and everyone. It's okay. My male mule does the same. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. No worries. <laughs> That's actually a really cute symbol for the mail system, I'm not gonna lie, and it makes it blatantly obvious where the mailbox is. Do I really have to install all these right now though? Is this something I'm gonna have to do? I got lost parcels building to make, okay? <laughs> This is not the time. But I love it though. Okay, back to the task at hand though. Check it out. I've made the little building. Just like that. Like I said, just a nice simple little box building with a cute little triangle roof on top. And it gives me like mini outdoor temporary warehouse entrance vibes. I don't know. And that's exactly what I'm going for. Now I am going to glow ink that sign. I'm going to make that a nice orange glow ink sign. But I think overall... This looks pretty cute. It's all tucked away in there. We have some really nice new terraforming going in. And I think it just opens up the post office area so much more. At least in my opinion. You know? Open to interpretation. And you can also look through the window. Look, you can look through the copper grates at what's inside. Oh, and ah, as expected, it's all a facade. There is nothing inside. <laughs> but there will be. I'm going to make some kind of interior. Maybe with a little kind of reception desk here. Maybe some shelves where we put the lost parcels. Hopefully there's not many lost parcels you know hopefully our mailboxes are working but in the case that something happens we can put them all up for display people can walk in come and inquire about it and then hey if their parcel is missing and it's here we can give it to them or if they're unclaimed we can put them up for auction but anyway, I'll be honest, other than that, I don't have a lot of clue in terms of like how exactly I'm going to decorate the interior. So I know we've been doing a lot of jump cuts around the place, but I think I'm going to stick my head in the dirt a little bit and see what I can come up with for this. Maybe this is the point where I do a small little time lapse and here I am talking over the top of me doing his head small time lapse just to see how it goes. And maybe we can make a cool interior. I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm trying to fill up the time. And oh, would you look at that? We're done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Korea, no! <laughs> ah, 
tiger mining for one second. Uh, nah. <laughs> I just want to have a break from doing my things at the post office. We have a lost parcels department and it seems like it's very much on time. Oh, th the thing is, we don't have the redstone hooked up to this thing yet. Um, I'm going to have to sort all this out, see what's going on. We got Zoom has lost a package. Green sending to Mumbo, who's not even hooked up. Let's do a quick tour of this place. We got the lost parcel returns office. Here is the interior that I've created here. We just got a nice, simple front desk that people are going to have to send all their complaints to here, which essentially is going to be me standing behind here. They're going to be seeing me everywhere in this post office. And behind here, I've got a couple of the shulkers with the property of Hemet Posco, which is, should theoretically be where the lost parcels will be placed once we have received them, if there are any. And also back here, I've just neatened up this area a little bit. So if we need to make this kind of a warehouse vibe, then I can add in some extra shelving units back here as well. And of course, the uh, walls and ceiling are pretty messy at the moment, but it just made this uh, area just a little bit more accessible now. So we can look underneath, see the uh, the the below bones of the mailbox. And I think that is pretty cool. But moving it back down here, honestly, I'm pretty happy with this overall. We've got some beautiful lights in the ceiling with the end rods to make it all nice and bright in here. We've used, I've used furnaces on the ground as just some nice floor texturing for important places that they'll be standing. They've even got their little waiting seats if the line happens to be long. Let's hope that's not the case in the future though, shall we? Let's hope they never have to use these. But regardless, a nice and quite little place. And all it kind of really needs at the moment is Etho just just to hook up the end of the line back up here. So any lost parcels for people like Green who send to people who aren't active, they will follow that line and end up here and then I can deal with them after that. Alas, now that I have shown you everything that is going on with the interior of this thing, I need to go talk to Green. I haven't even given him his stamps yet. What has he done? Has he bought stamps? How did he even manage to send anything? He hasn't got anything to send stuff to. All right, come on, mail mule. My inventory is full of junk right now for mining, but uh, we're going to have to give him some stuff quick stat. Oh, there he is. Why are you trying to break the post system, sir? I didn't break <laughs> anything. I didn't try to break anything. I tried to send Mumbo a lovely letter. That's what I tried to do. So now I'm going to have to buy some uh, more stamps. You got to wait for the beginner's tutorial. You haven't even been inducted into it yet, mate. I don't need, I don't need a tutorial. Yes. I managed to do it with... I managed oh. to do it without a single problem. A, a single problem? The problem is there is no end result for sending anything to Mumbo. <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. Where, 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 where did it go? <laughs> Into the nether, in a hole in the ground. Could have at least waited for oh. me to get my parcels off and set up, mate. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait. It's there. It really is just, it's oh. gone. It, it's in the nether. Yeah. Right, you need yeah. to you need to get Mumbo. I, I cannot stress enough <laughs> how important it is that you get Mumbo a post box. We've got it. I've got down. so many stamps uh -huh. specifically for Mumbo. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. And I have many letters that I need to send him. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, <laughs> tell you what, you mm -hmm. sort you sort out Mumbo a post box, and uh -huh. I'll have a word with the guy at the permit office to get this place proper permit. Oh. You know what? I like that. I like it. All right, we're getting him hooked up then. That's fine. I'll do it. I need that permit though. Wait for Korean. 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 Mate. Mate, my mule is getting very tired running after you right now. Can you turn that Korean butt around, please? Hey, 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 real quick. Don't run away from me. Take these. <laughs> Stop buying things. <laughs> Take this, please. Oh. Yeah, this is the tutorial I was trying to get you to do. <laughs> But so it's just a button. I'm. I think I've been. I'm pretty. Pro I'm pretty professional at pressing buttons. Yeah, but you needed stamps and shulkers. That's all I wanted to give you. All right, now I've got stamps. I've wasted my last two diamonds you on see? stamps that I got for free. <laughs> Here he goes. All right. Well, now that I know he's trying to send things to Mumbo, um, that is gonna be in the net. I know that place exists for the lost parcels, and it seems like we're gonna have to go fish it out manually. This is gonna be intriguing. Uh, I don't really want that despawning, so let's hope for the best, shall we? Probably the easiest way to get there, I'm guessing, is actually going to be through the mail system in here. So we're going to have to jump down into the guts of this thing and take the portal. All right. Hello. I see you. Let's, let's mail ourselves for just a little moment here. Okay. Now, which way is the end of the line? There's the chunk loader. Ay, ay, ay. If I could just see a minecart. Go in any of these directions. Oh, there we go. Someone sent mail. Whose is that? Where's that going? I'm going to follow it. Oh, gosh, it's going so fast, actually. Is this a lost cart? Or is it something that someone's just sent? 
Oh, this is kind of cool, actually, to see this going. Let's just not break it. Okay, so it cycles around that way, which means the end of the line has got to be down here somewhere. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Like, this really gives you a good perspective of what tank... <gasps> Someone sent mail to Jim! Oh, well, there we go! Um... But yeah, I was going to say, this really gives a good perspective of just how much Tango and Etho have made. This is insane, but it's I love that they've labeled everything as well. Okay, anyway, I'm getting distracted. I need to find the end of this line. Lost parcels, lost parcels, impulse, excuse. There's me. Lost mail. Oh, it's right here. It was right next to me all along. There's a cart. Hello. It's just a... Wait, did it... Did, did Grigan just try to send Mumbo his own stamp? Did he? What did what? I, how? This. He sent a potato. The potato is nowhere to be found. If he was sending that, I mean, it's not even in a shulker box. <laughs> Wait. Wait, did he not use a shulker box? Pearl? What? I have no grand stamp. Guys, he just got his in last night. Etho hasn't even told me that he's finished with Grigans yet, but clearly he has. All right, you can't blame me, okay? Communication. Well, what am I supposed to do when I get online and I want to send mail to someone well, and I don't have their stamps, Pearl? Well, you either like, buy a sub buy or him. you wait. You, you, can, you can wait for me to give him to you. That's, well, all, I that's plausible. I can I can't have all. Well, well, no, this can't wait. No, come on. Let me give you some. Give me some of your free ones. You can have some extra. Extra anyway. It's fine. <laughs> can I just have one of every hermit, my free samples, because I'm not gonna send them. If you people who don't have boxes. Okay, don't be like Green then. If I can trust you not to be like Green, I can give you one of each. Oh, I am nothing like Green. <laughs> okay, alrighty. I mean, in that case, just take two of every hermit that you don't currently have. Including green. I'm supposed to know which. <laughs> well, okay. Well, in that case, <laughs> you gotta leave it to me, aren't you? Alrighty, that's fine. I'll okay. take two of green, and yep. I'll let you work out the rest. And I think that's it. That's everybody. Yeah. Yay! Because you, you should have. Wow, either. you're the best. Five stars, way better than the permit office, even though I've never been there. Thank you. Please tell green that, because he doesn't seem convinced. Okay, thank I'm you. I'm not gonna tell him that. No, nope. all right. Well, all, all right. right. Goodbye. <laughs> you can have a bonus <laughs> stamp if you tell him. Wait, I can have a bonus stamp? Yeah! Of who? Uh, I'll let you pick. If you if you make it a real raving review and make sure he knows. Yes? <sighs> yes? Yes? It's worth it? The raving review part. Oh, come on! It's here. the truth, though! Is it I not? can't give you a raving review. Why you were not? late giving me stamps. I, he just got installed last night. What do you mean? I'm early. I don't know. I just, I, look, I just delved into the guts of the beast and pulled out Green's mumbo stamp that he apparently doesn't know how to send mail properly. Uh, <laughs> okay, so come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Good luck with that part. Okay, fine. <laughs> Why? All right, let's go give Green his stamp back. Do you want your mumbo stamp back? It's not mine. I sent him a potato. <laughs> it's totally yours. No potato it's was not mine. How how did you use the system? Can, can you can you show me how you use the system? I feel like I need to know. I used it. I used it as it's supposed to be used. Did you use a shulker? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's let's see. I you emulate. I put the shulker in here. Uh huh. Yeah. And then I put the stamp in here, and okay. I put the potato in the thing, and okay. then I press the button. Huh. All right. Maybe maybe I've got to talk to Etho about this. He can have you stamp back anyway. <laughs> Where's my potato? I don't know. I'm don't gonna send him another me. one. Go get I'm another... gonna send him another one. Okay. Well, that's gonna get lost too. You're gonna just end up with a bunch of oh, minecarts no, yeah, in the work. system. Hold on. I don't know if I have another potato. Have you got a potato? I do not have a potato, which is honestly illegal for me to be honest. You know, you could probably find a potato if you organized your storage. That, that could I'm be a thing. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you about this. <laughs> I mean, when you leave it out like You've this... You've got mail. Oh! oh! <laughs> that is so loud! Please, turn it down! But you really need to know that you've got mail. It's important. Yeah, I also need to keep my heart beating. <laughs> no, you don't. It's fine. All right, the egg, the egg will have to do. An egg. All right. Yeah. That I'm makes gonna, sense. I'm going to well, call it's, it. It's still going to get lost. I don't know what kind egg. of new result you're expecting I'm gonna egg, here. I'm going to egg. I'm going to egg Mumbo. Right, oh. here you go. Watch this. Watch this. Right, in it goes. Okay. Egg. Yep. You want to see that? Open okay. up the chest. See that it says, see it says egg. Egg, egg. All right. Yep, I see it's it. It's an egg. Uh-huh. Did, did you did you put the stamp in there? Yeah. You did? Of course I did. Okay, I didn't see yeah. that. It wouldn't go if, it, if there was no stamp. It wouldn't go. You've got a point. <laughs> 
Okay, now I've got to dive back into the valley again and go find your lost package. <laughs> see, and then when you're there, go and find my potato. Oh, your potato's not there. Oh, wait, what'd you get, actually? I need to see what you get. Uh, Gem says that she would like to go end busing. So, Ooh, go get your wingies. Go fly. She, she wrote it on paper and not a mumbo stamp, which is really upsetting. Oh, so you supposed to write it on the stamps now? Well, I've been, so far I've been messaging people with mumbo stamps. Oh, sounds like we're about to make a good profit at the uh, post office. I, 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 like I said, I invested heavily in a man that doesn't have a post box. Look, he's got one. He's got to get one soon. Very soon. All right, I'm going to go find your package. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, let's see. If, if that car does not have a shulker in it with the egg, things are going to start to get somewhat concerning, I think. Oh, wait, is that the shulker? And oh, that's going to be the shulker that he just sent. It's going to go into the lost mail. There it goes. All right, let's see. Is it the shulker? It worked this time. I don't think Green used the shulker box. I don't know. Something is suspicious. Something is very suspicious. I got the egg this time. Did not get the potato last time. I got your egg. It made it. Right, so you got the egg, but not the potato. No, that's why I'm wondering what happened the first time, because this this worked. This is fine. Okay, well, I can deliver this manually for you if you Hold like. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't put a potato in the dispenser, did I? <laughs> did you? Don't think it goes anywhere if you drop something down that you're not supposed to. It might just get destroyed, honestly. Do you want me to deliver this manually for you? No, it, they can go in lost. You, you can accumulate them, and then when he's got... When you make his... Uh, post box all just right. give them all but like people have been sending you stuff <laughs> your notifications have been blowing up so answer I reckon, your post I reckon box I, got, I reckon i got confused i reckon i put the mumbo stamp in the shulker box and the potato in the dispenser. <laughs> that is a very green thing to do i'm not gonna lie i'm sorry well but... at least at least the potato <laughs> didn't break the system so it's already better than sahara there's already a fail safe it's a green fail yeah. safe okay it's, it's it's green proof that's for sure <laughs> Okay, well, I'm glad we resolved this. It works. Go have fun sending mail. Alrighty. We'll keep this in the Lost Parcels office for now, and we'll uh, chuck this in Mumbo's mailbox when we've got him all set up. He is due to go in sometime this week or early next week, I imagine. It all depends on schedule of ether in it right now, as I think Tango is actually away on vacation. So we shall see what happens. All right, next one I want to investigate is wonder how on earth uh, Zuma's package actually got lost. That, that was a bit of an odd situation. There was nothing else in the lost parcels. So we need to go check up on Zuma and figure out what went wrong. There is a light here. I mean, it looks like it got delivered to me. Well, that solves that one. Okay, it works. He probably just didn't wait long enough. <laughs> either that or Cleo didn't wait long enough. It really depends on how that went down. I have no idea. But either way, that's all fine. And that works, Sandy. But speaking of stamps and people not getting stamps, I should probably send off a few of those packages now. I was trying to wait until there were a couple more hermits newly installed in the current phase. But I think some hermits are really itching to use the system and we don't want to delay them any further. I have finally started to actually write a book for which hermits are missing what stamps because I was slowly losing track. Now, Beef and Joel, we have still yet to give them their trial stamps, but a few of these have three stamps that we do need to send out now. So let's get that done. Need a bit of paper, free stamps for new active mailboxes, PM, just as a bit of a note. Grab a few of the shulkers, rename the shulkers, load up the shulker boxes, and then send them off to each hermit. Just like that. Boop. Nice. Boop, pop, bloop, doop, boop, and doop. Here we go. All right, now that that business is taken care of for today, let's finally move on to the next task. This is actually the point where I would really, really love to expand my base even further, as I've got a few little plans for this spot right over here. However, it's grating more and more in my mind that I have all of my shop permits and I do not have a single shop in the shopping district yet. And as much as I am working towards one of those permits, I think we need to get at least a couple of the others up and going. Although I will say, I didn't really want to build a shop yet until I kind of had a permanent design to have in the shopping district, but I'm starting to think the pop-up shop idea 
Bear isn't so bad, at least just to get something there. Losing my permits, after all, isn't exactly something that I want to risk doing, so I think we need to get going with those. Now, just to remind you all what permits I do actually have. I have the All the Dyes and Flowers, which you know we are working towards, Magenta Wool, Bone Blocks, Purple, Grey Terracotta, and Spore Blossom. But you may also notice there is one more permit um, down the bottom right here, and you know what? I've actually had this since the first day, but I uh, never got around to explaining why I had it and what it is. And you know what? My last and final permit is granite. Just to give you a little bit of context as to why on earth I have that, uh, on the first day, we were kind of just riding around after getting all our permits, and I ended up in a bit of a group of people, and let's just say that that permit kind of got chucked around a bit and ended up in Coralis's hands. And well, Coralis didn't exactly want that permit, and honestly, I love building with granite. I really enjoy it as a block, and it's not that bad to collect either. So I'm like, you know what? Can I have it? And well, he gave it to me for, I believe, from recollection, it's been a long time, okay? I'm pretty sure it was like 50% of the proceeds from the shop, which I kind of don't mind. I like granite anyway, and I kind of wanted to have it. So, eh, we've got that as well. Anyway, but we have to get going and start making some little tiny shops just to get these going. One of the first ones that I do want to focus on is actually going to be the bone block permit. Because if I head down below my base, you'll actually find that I have... Hold on, it's down here somewhere. Eh, 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 there it is, there we go. I have a skeleton farm right under here. And that is something I did mention in an earlier episode, but um, this is right here underneath my base, and I definitely think I can harness this to my bone block shop. And because we have the auto crafters on the server, I can pretty much just AFK if I make a farm and get a whole bunch of bone blocks to get that pop-up one started. So in order to get me a bunch of supplies for that shop, let's set this up as a nice AFK bull farm. First things first, I'm going to have to dig a nice square around this. We're going to do the very typical mob farm design, make him basically travel down a water spout, follow the path, get taken up by some bubbles, and then dropped back down so they just drop the bones, and then that will link up to an auto crafter, which will give me the bone blocks that I need to stock my shop. So I'm just going to kind of keep going with that and I'll bring you guys back in after I've set this thing up. Alrighty, so I've made the farm with a little bit of a skeleton drop of death complete with a campfire for those armoured skellies that weren't quite dying before. And you know what? I've actually decided to do a little bit of AFK time with it while I've been editing this episode. And really, the results have not been too bad at all. Plus, I have an insane abundance of arrows that I'll never use because I use an infinity bow. So maybe I'll give these the gem, right? Now because the bone block are made out of bone meal, it does only take three bones per bone blocks. The rates aren't horrible. They're not fantastic because it's only one spawner, but it's not horrible. I mean, you've already seen a few skeletons die while I've just been standing here. Before I did AFK here, though, I felt it was dropping skeletons a little bit too slow, so I've actually been to the nether to go and grab some bones manually, just to kind of get our first shop started while I generated a few more. Um, let's just play some of my nether journey clips. Soul Sand Valley is needed. Soul Sand Valley is required. Let's go mine some fossils and hope we get what we need. I actually don't know where Soul Sand Valley is. This is going to go really well. Bones! They're floating. Nope, not doing it. What about this stuff? Hey, uh, that's also floating. That is also floating. That one's not floating. We have a winner. There's another one. Oh, and it's always such a satisfying noise mining these things. You gotta admit. Ooh! Bastion! Ooh! Hey, achievement! Here we go. I just want to see if there's any loot still left in it. Oh, you're a brute! You're a brute! Nope! 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 Ooh! It's not being looted! Nice! I'll take it! Thank you! Ooh, I got snout! I got a banner pattern! Ooh, more bone blocks. This was actually lucrative for our journeys anyway. <gasps> snout! That is so rare! Oh, that's so rare! Look how cute they are! Oh, Isn't that adorable? Isn't that so cute? Oh, so adorable. I love them. I love them so much. So, so very cute. Dang it! Okay, these guys look in a very accessible position right now. Hello, how you doing, everybody? That way. There you go. Oh, I got it! I saw a drop! I, I, I'm sorry, you, you were collateral. Oh, look at it! I got a head! <sighs> Yes. I actually like that head. That is so cute. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at me. I'm fabulous. Okay, back to the task at hand. Bone blocks, please. There's another bastion that's not looted yet. We don't need to loot it. Oh, but pig stamp, though. Wouldn't pig stamp be nice? Nope. 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 Walk away. Ooh, it's all sand valley. Hello. Nice. This is what we wanted. Hello. Nice and easy. 
Simply put, this is how you get a business started. I could loot this fortress right now, but honestly, I don't really want to. I want a bone box. I'm here for bone box. All right, let's loot, let's loot this. Let's get the rib armor trim. Trim. Nope, trim. Why? Golden horse armor. Trim. No trim. More gold. Trim. Can we talk about the golden horse armor situation? Because can I stop getting golden horse armor? Stop! Trim, yes? Trim. Trim! Yeah! Yeah, this is trim day for Perlo. Nice. And more stinking golden horse armor. It's fine, I got a trim. Okay, we can go home now, right? I don't want to be here anymore. So with my journey to the nether, I now have quite a solid amount of bone blocks to make me feel a little bit more comfortable about setting up a shop. Not to mention the slight bonus of a couple of beautiful trims while I was out there, which was very nice. And of course the banner pattern, brilliant. Completely ignoring the fact that I'll eventually get them from Doc for free, but it's still exciting to find this stuff in the wild. Let's compact up our little farm drops here and see what we can get with the bone blocks on this one. I gotta say, that is an absurd amount of bone blocks just from the skeleton farm. I completely underestimated this and the power of just a little bit of AFK time. Oh my gosh. That's huge. Not quite as much as I got from the nether, but that's huge. Also, a quick note to mention is I will make this an auto crafting farm in the future. It's just a, a, a comparative redstone and everything is a little bit lost on me. And I'm going to ask some advice of some friends on the server a little bit next episode. So that should be fun. However, now that I do have these bones, let's go create our first little shop in the shopping district. Ooh, I'm excited. And might I say the shopping district has come quite a long way since I was last here. And honestly, it's pure chaos. It's not as chaotic as it was the last time I've actually been here off camera, but it's, it's pretty decently chaotic. There is just so many little shops going on because everybody's making temp shops, aside from a couple of the perma ones. But uh, yeah, it's um, there's some statement pieces, that's for sure. <laughs> now, one part of the shopping district that was kind of pulling me towards it is actually this little area over here. Look at these gorgeous buildings that have been made. That one over there is an end rod shop that says neon on it. I think that was Ethos permit but don't quote me on that one we got beatups bamboo stuff right in the middle here with a variety of things from right from the string all the way to the actual solid bamboo block including the plank stuff in the middle which is really cool i like how he's done the text on the signs that is awesome and then i believe this is gem shop over here selling clay and moss now if i was doing a permanent shop i would probably kind of aim something around the similar style but for now we're just gonna do that starter one something that's supposed to just be temporary and we'll replace later i mean i was trying to think of it as that came to mind there is of course a lot of shops that are uh, more in like that kind of stall type of style but i didn't really want to make that i have actually decided that i want to make a truck and this is coming from me who said in the last episode oh i didn't really build vehicles that much you know I'm not really my forte yeah okay they're kind of fun to make i'm not gonna lie i'm actually quite enjoying making them so i'm gonna keep up that challenge and i thought we can kind of do it in this type of stylish, I suppose, and make it feel like it's part of the town. And there's a nice good open spot right here that I thought could be fun to use. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and build us a little truck. And I know we haven't really had much in the way of time lapses today, but uh, because it's such a tiny build, um, Transition Pearl is gonna take away with this one. Get building present Pearl and bring it back in future Pearl. And just like that, I have a little truck shop. Oh, and look at this. Isn't this absolutely adorable? Now, my perspective on vehicles is going to be a little bit warped because I haven't been building them for a crazy long time, but I I think this looks pretty decent, to be honest. It may not be a Corrales level truck, but it's pretty good for a little starter shop. I did the even center, just like my little truck at the post office, because I thought it, the, the wideness of it really just added to it instead of like the thin version that I was thinking of doing originally. And I've kept it very much much more of a white theme to go with the bone blocks themselves. We've got a little banner sign on the top to really advertise it and sell it. Got some letters at the back along with the lovely roller door and the tail lights. And then of course the actual sales spot itself is going to be in these barrels right here. Now I do need to set the price. I'm still thinking about that. And I am kind of leaning towards one or two diamonds for 32 bone blocks. I'm not too sure. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. The price is a little bit more on the trickier side because my 
my farm isn't super efficient yet, but hopefully when I get a more efficient moss or a bone meal farm, should I say, then maybe we can also sell them for just a little bit cheaper and I won't feel so off about it being maybe a little bit too cheap for the time that I've spent. <laughs> Alas, I think this is super cute and I think this is a really good and nice solid entry into the shopping district. Although we are missing one very important piece and that has to be the shop's very own permit itself. There we go, sitting nicely upon our truck. Now that completes it, wonderful. I'm probably gonna make the price of 32 bone blocks two diamonds just for now and I'm sure in the future I'll put it down to one, but just to get some kind of price in there at the moment, but yeah. That's about it. What do you all think of my little truck? And honestly, what do you all think of today's episode? Because sadly, that is unfortunately going to be the end of the episode for today. I very much wanted to get more stuff done on my base and really dive into the solar punk aspect of it. But look, the, the mail system took up a lot more time today than I thought it was going to. We had a few of uh, little hiccups and happenings that had occurred and that definitely drained a little bit more time than I originally anticipated. But it was a lot of fun. So totally worth it. Next episode, we'll jump Jump head first into the sniffers and to the thing that I want to do on my base. But for now, thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode for today. And really, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.